Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, and in today's video, we have our comprehensive list of the best beds in a box. Now, the whole bed in a box revolution really changed the way people bought mattresses. Now you can just click a few buttons online and then a mattress will show up at your door inside of a box. It's a pretty cool process, and we have our top 10 picks. This is a pretty big category, and I don't want this video to be crazy long, so I'm gonna try and go a little bit quickly through all of these beds. If you need more information about these beds, though, they should be linked for you in the description. Full written reviews, comparisons, discount codes, just a lot of stuff down there. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. Let's just get into it now by quickly covering the general policies you're gonna get with any of these beds. These brands did send us their beds for free so we could test them out and tell you about them. But should you get one for yourself, you're gonna start with free shipping and they're gonna ship to you inside of a box. It's kind of the whole point of this list. The unboxing process for all these beds is pretty quick and easy to do. You just bring the box inside, open it up, rip off all of the plastic. There is quite a bit of plastic because they have to really be completely airtight. And then you watch your mattress inflate. Now, I pretty much always recommend having someone else there to help you out because a lot of these beds can get pretty heavy. Some of them you might be able to do solo but just have someone there makes the whole thing way easier. One thing I do wanna mention is that right when you unbox a mattress, it'll often look a little misshapen. It might have a not so pleasant odor and it might take a couple days for those two things to dissipate and for it to reach its proper firmness level. This is just because the bed has been compressed in that plastic for so long. It just takes a while to fully inflate and just don't worry about it if you see your mattress looks a little funky when you take it out of the box. And once the mattress arrives at your door, this is when your trial period kicks in. This is another reason people are so comfortable buying beds online these days, because you get at least 100 nights, often longer, to sleep on the bed at home to decide if you actually like it or not. If you decide that you don't within the trial period with all these beds, you can get free returns and a full refund. But if you decide to keep the bed, they're all gonna come with at least a 10-year warranty, often longer. So that's all the policy stuff. Let's just start getting into the beds now. And we're gonna start with our pick for the best custom mattress, and that's gonna be Helix Sleep. Now these beds aren't really custom, they're not made to order, but Helix does things a little bit differently than a lot of other mattress brands in that they offer a ton of different options and they take you through a sleep quiz to help you figure out which one is gonna be right for you. So if you're not really sure what you're looking for in your next mattress and you want more of a guided shopping experience, Helix is a really good place to start because they have beds that go across the spectrum of firmness. You should be able to find one that fits your preferences. And by default, they are all hybrids. So if you are a heavier individual, you should be good to go on all of these. They have their six main core models, and then they have their Lux models, which are a bit more expensive, but they add a pillow top to the mattress and a bit of a zone support structure. Overall, the Lux mattresses are really nice if you have the budget for them, but if you don't, the core models are perfectly good. And if you're sharing your mattress with a partner, you can actually take the sleep quiz together and find one that hopefully fits both of your preferences. Now, a Helix mattress might not be exactly what you're looking for, but the whole sleep quiz thing makes it just a really easy, simple shopping experience, and it's a really good place to start. Next up on the list, we're gonna talk about our pick for the best pillow top bed in a box, and that's actually gonna be Wink Bed. This is one of our favorite mattresses overall, and since it is so thick and durable, you can just look at it, it looks like it belongs in a fancy hotel. It's kind of amazing they managed to fit even king size wink beds inside of a box. You get three different firmness options to choose from when you're checking out with wink beds, so you're pretty much covered with whatever sleeping preference you have. They have their soft model, which is closer to a medium soft, their luxury firm, which is somewhere around a medium, really nice and accommodating, and then their firmer model, which is closer to a medium firm. So depending on your sleeping preferences, you should be able to find a wink bed mattress that works for you. And a wink bed features a more traditional pillow top feel that I think the vast majority of sleepers are gonna enjoy. It might feel somewhat similar to a bed that you have already slept on in the past. And for being such a high quality hybrid pillow top mattress that's extremely supportive, it's actually pretty affordable for what you're getting. After discount, you should be paying somewhere around 1500 bucks, which in my opinion makes it a pretty solid value. Now I do wanna mention for all the beds on this list, I am gonna talk about pricing a little bit. However, mattress brands do change their prices around pretty often. So if you came across this video after I recorded it, there's a good chance the price might have changed. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on all of these beds, including Wink Bed. Next up on the list, we have another really high quality hybrid mattress that uses natural and organic materials. And that's gonna be the Avocado Green Mattress. 
This mattress probably has the most number of certifications that we've ever seen on a mattress that we've tested. We'll try and link some more information about it down below in the description. There's a lot to go over when it comes to certifications, but the bottom line is this mattress has a lot of really ethically sourced and natural and organic materials within its construction. And the company itself is actually carbon negative, which means they offset more carbon than they produce to make these mattresses, which I think is pretty remarkable. So if you care about having a natural and organic product, this mattress is gonna be really high on that list. The primary comfort layers are gonna be wool and latex foam. Latex foam has a pretty distinctive feel. It's really bouncy and responsive while still providing you plenty of cushioning. I like to describe latex foam as having almost the opposite feel of a memory foam because you don't really sink into it very much and it's really easy to rotate between sleeping positions. Now I would recommend getting the avocado green mattress with the optional pillow top. It is gonna increase the price quite a bit, but it makes the mattress significantly softer with the pillow top. It's around a medium firm, which makes it pretty accommodating for all sleepers. Maybe not strict side sleepers, but everybody else should be pretty good to go on the green mattress with the pillow top. This bed is pretty expensive though. You're looking at about 2,100 bucks with the pillow top before any discounts. If we do find discounts, we'll make sure to put them down below in the description. But what about if you want something way more affordable? Well, for that sort of category, I would recommend the Dream Foam Arctic Dreams mattress, which is the one right behind me. After discount, this thing retails for somewhere around $500 for a queen size, which makes it extremely affordable. And I think it has more quality than the price would indicate. This mattress is a hybrid by default, which is pretty great. The coils add extra durability and it's gonna add a little extra bounce to this mattress. Because even though it features a pretty thick layer of memory foam within its construction, the other foams plus the coils don't really mean it has a memory foam feel. It has more of a soft neutral feel that I think is gonna be generally pretty accommodating for most sleepers. And the firmness is also gonna be pretty accommodating somewhere around a medium on our scale, which means it should work pretty well for all sleeper types as well. This mattress is called the Arctic Dreams, so it does have a little bit of cooling material woven into the cover. You can actually feel it when you put your hand on it. It's not quite as cooling as something like the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora or even the Ghost Bed Lux, but it does do a nice job at helping you sleep a little bit cooler throughout the night. So there's just a lot to recommend about this mattress, not factoring in that extremely low price point. So pretty great option there. And next up on the list, we're gonna talk about our pick for the best memory foam bed in a box mattress. And that's actually gonna be Nectar. Nectar is extremely popular. I'm guessing if you've been shopping for a mattress online, there's a good chance you've seen a Nectar ad. And one of the big reasons Nectar is so popular is because it has a pretty affordable price point. Depending on the time of year, you're looking at somewhere between $800 and $900 for a queen size Nectar after discount. And they pretty much always throw in a lot of free accessories, including pillows, sheets, a mattress protector, and sometimes even a Google Nest Hub, which is pretty cool. Now, Nectar is definitely more of a traditional memory foam mattress. The top comfort layer is a pretty thick layer of gel memory foam. So you're gonna lay down on the Nectar mattress. It's gonna feel pretty firm at first, and then you're gonna slowly start to sink into it as it conforms to your body's shape. If you're familiar with the feel of a memory foam mattress, this is probably what you're thinking of. Now, Nectar does have three different options, the affordable flagship Nectar, the Nectar Premier, and then the Nectar Premier Copper. The biggest differences between these are the price point, the firmness, and the amount of cooling materials. The Nectar Premier is slightly cool to the touch and it's a bit softer, that one's around a medium. The Nectar Premier Copper is a bit more cooling and it's somewhere between a medium and a medium firm. And then the flagship Nectar is around a flat medium firm. I would recommend going with the flagship Nectar because it is the most affordable option. Though if you want something softer, the Nectar Premier makes a lot of sense as well. Next up, we're gonna talk about our pick for the best beds for side sleepers. That also has a pretty unique feel. That's gonna be the NOLA Original 10-inch mattress. Now, in general, if you are a strict side sleeper, you will want to find a softer mattress that helps cradle your pressure points like your hips and your shoulders. A lot of times if you are a strict side sleeper and you're sleeping on a mattress a bit too firm that doesn't offer quite as much pressure relief, there's a good chance you might wind up with some hip and shoulder pain. And the Nola Original 10 inch is right between a medium soft and a medium on our firmness scale, which is a really nice sweet spot for side sleepers because it provides you with a good amount of pressure relief, but it's not gonna be so soft that you can't also be a combo sleeper. And the top layer of comfort foam for the NOLA Original 10 inch mattress is what they call air foam. A lot of brands like to talk about their proprietary foams that they use, but there's actually something to the air foam. 
it has some characteristics of a memory foam in that when you lay down on it, it does conform to your body's shape pretty nicely. However, when you relieve pressure from it, it snaps back into shape a lot more quickly than a traditional memory foam would. So the Nola Original 10 inch has more of a mixed or blended foam feel that I think a lot of people are gonna like. It's gonna have some of the qualities of memory foam, but not some of the downsides that people like me don't usually like memory foam for. After discount, you're looking at about $900 for a queen size Nola, which is a pretty solid price point. And right now they're even throwing in two free pillows. And I actually sleep on a Nola pillow every night at home and I really like it. But what about if you don't wanna do any more of this mattress research, you just wanna close your eyes and pick a mattress that you're probably gonna like no matter what. And for that choice, I would say go with Casper. I'm guessing you've also heard of Casper if you've been shopping for mattress online. They're one of the original bed in a box mattress brands. And the reason Casper is so popular is that the vast majority of people who lay down on it thinks it's pretty comfortable. It might not be exactly what you're looking for, but it just has a nice soft neutral foam feel that pretty much anyone can get down with. I really like the Casper mattress and a lot of people out there do, and there's a good chance you will too. The firmness of the Casper original is gonna be just as accommodating as its feel. It's around a flat medium, so really solid for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. There are a few extra bells and whistles you get with the Casper original. It does have a bit of a zone support design, which is pretty nice. It's more advanced on the more high-end Casper beds like the Nova and the Wave. But the long story short is the bed is divided into separate sections with slightly varying levels of firmness that are supposed to help keep your spine in a more neutral alignment while you sleep. And you do have the option to spend up with the Casper original to get it with coils instead of foam for its primary support base. This is actually pretty unique because most mattress brands have an entirely separate hybrid mattress, when with this one, it's the exact same bed, just with coils swapped out for the foam. And after discount, you should expect to pay somewhere around 1,000 to 1,100 bucks for a queen size Casper. So given its affordable price point and its accommodating nature, just a lot to like about Casper. On pretty much the exact opposite end of the spectrum though, you have the purple mattress, which has a super unique feel. The primary comfort layer of all the purple mattresses is a material called hyperelastic polymer. They call it the purple grid, and it provides you with a very unique gel-like feel. I actually have slept on a purple mattress for a very long time and I can tell you it is pretty unlike anything I've ever tested and probably you have too. When you're laying down on your back or your stomach on a purple mattress, it almost feels like you're floating on top of the material, like you're almost weightless. But then if you switch to your side, the material does conform to your body shape nicely while still being really responsive. So if you've tried out other beds and you're just not really satisfied, then purple might be a really good option to look into because it is so unique. The flagship purple is gonna be their most affordable and it is a flat medium on our firmness scale. So again, generally pretty accommodating. They do make hybrid options, but those get much more expensive. I would recommend looking at the flagship purple mattress first because it is the most affordable. And I would definitely utilize that sleep trial with purple because the feel of it can be somewhat divisive. People seem to either love it like myself or they just think it's a little too off-putting. And one other thing I wanna mention about purple is that since the top layer is in a grid design, it has very little surface area. It's a pretty solid option for hot sleepers as well. It's not gonna actively cool you down, but it does provide you with a lot of airflow and it should sleep temperature neutral better in comparison to some other beds. But speaking of cooling beds, let's move over to our pick for the best cooling mattress. And that's gonna be the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora. This mattress is generally super comfortable, it has a soft neutral foam feel that I think most people will enjoy. You get to pick and choose your firmness level. It has a soft, a medium, and a firm model. The soft is around a medium soft, the medium's around a medium, and the firm's around a medium firm. And this is the most cooling mattress that we've ever tested that isn't something like eight sleep. And the cover is actually very cool to the touch, more so than a lot of other beds. And I think it'll do a really nice job if you are a hot sleeper at sleeping cool. Brooklyn Bedding as a brand is just really solid down the line. They make a lot of high quality mattresses at a nice price point. I think the Aurora is probably the best one that they make and it is a mattress that I really like and that's not even factoring in the cooling materials inside the mattress. So if you do sleep hot and you're looking for the best cooling option, this one is really high up on the list, if not the highest. And then very last on the list, but certainly not least, you have our pick for just the most budget-friendly mattress. If you have a very strict budget to work with and you're looking for the best bang for your buck, then I think the Allswell mattress is gonna be your best bet. It's queen size MSRP is around $415. They actually increased the price a little bit recently, 
but it's still super affordable for what you're getting. It's a generally pretty accommodating hybrid mattress. It has a neutral feel and it's somewhere between a medium and a medium firm on our firm scale, which is pretty accommodating. And keep in mind that all mattresses will eventually soften over time. So if it's a little bit too firm for you initially, just give it some time and there's a good chance it'll soften up. All's Well as a brand is actually owned by Walmart. So you are purchasing from a very reputable brand and its price point is very similar to some strange brands that pop in and out on Amazon all the time. So again, if you are on a very strict budget and you're looking for the best you can get for that amount of money, I think All's Well is probably the best way to go. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up our best list. I know that was a lot, that's 10 beds. But this is a very general category and we've tested something like 200 beds over here. So narrowing it down to 10 can be pretty challenging. But if you're shopping for a new mattress online, I think any one of these 10 beds should be a really good option for you. Again, more information linked for you in the description, including any discounts we can find on any of these beds to help save you some money. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate it a lot. But that's enough for me. Thanks for watching. 